atheism as a worldview that denies or rejects the existence of God or gods encounters several challenges when addressing deeper existential, moral, and philosophical questions. Here are some issues that atheism struggles to fully or satisfactorily answer. The origin of the universe. Issue. Atheism lacks a comprehensive explanation for the existence of the universe. While atheists might appeal to the Big Bang theory or natural processes, they still struggle to answer the fundamental question, why is there something rather than nothing? The question of how the universe came into being from absolute nothingness is difficult to resolve without appealing to a transcendent cause. Theistic Response Theism argues that a necessary, eternal being, God, is the best explanation for the existence of the universe. Genesis 1.1 states, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, which provides a cause for the universe's origin outside of time and space. 2. The Basis for Objective Morality Issue. Atheism has difficulty providing a solid foundation for objective moral values and duties. If there is no God then moral standards must be grounded in human opinion, social consensus, or evolutionary biology, all of which are subjective and can change over time. Without an absolute, transcendent moral lawgiver, it is difficult to explain why certain things, e.g. murder, theft, are universally wrong regardless of personal or cultural beliefs. Theistic response. The existence of objective moral values points to a moral lawgiver, God. Romans 2.15 speaks of God's law written on human hearts, suggesting that our sense of right and wrong is derived from God's nature. Without God, objective morality is impossible to justify. The Meaning and Purpose of Life Atheism struggles to provide a satisfying answer to the question of life's ultimate meaning and purpose. If life is the result of random, purposeless processes, then it is difficult to justify the idea that life has inherent meaning or significance. Atheists might argue that individuals can create their own meaning, but this is subjective and doesn't offer a universal or enduring purpose. Theistic Response Theism teaches that life has ultimate meaning and purpose because humans are created by God for a purpose. According to Ephesians 2.10, we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand. This gives life both objective meaning and a divinely ordained purpose. How for? The problem of consciousness. Issue. Atheism struggles to explain the existence of human consciousness, our ability to think, reason, and be self-aware. If humans are purely physical beings, composed only of material parts, it is hard to explain how consciousness arises from unconscious matter. The leap from physical processes in the brain to subjective experiences and thoughts is something that materialistic atheism has not adequately explained. Theistic Response Theism provides a more coherent explanation for consciousness by asserting that humans are made in the image of a conscious, personal God, Genesis 1, 27. Our ability to think and reason reflects God's nature as a rational, conscious being. Number 5. The Fine-Tuning of the Universe Issue. Atheism struggles to explain why the universe appears finely tuned for life. The physical constants and laws of the universe are precisely balanced to allow life to exist. The chances of this happening by random chance are astronomically small, leading to the question of why the universe is so well suited for life. Theistic Response Theism argues that the fine-tuning of the universe is evidence of a purposeful design by an intelligent creator. Psalm 19.1 declares, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. The precise order of the universe points to a divine designer rather than random chance. Harsh 6. The Existence of Love, Beauty, and Aesthetic Values Issue. Atheism has difficulty explaining why humans experience love, beauty, and aesthetic appreciation. If humans are simply the result of evolutionary processes then love and the appreciation of beauty would seem to be mere chemical reactions in the brain, with no deeper significance. Yet, humans universally experience these things as meaningful and transcendent. Theistic Response Theism teaches that love, beauty, and aesthetic values reflect the nature of God, who is the source of all that is good, true, and beautiful. In the Christian view, love exists because God is love, 1 John 4, 8, and beauty is a reflection of God's creative order, and nature.
The Problem of Human Dignity and Rights Issue Atheism has difficulty providing a grounding for human dignity and rights. If humans are merely advanced animals, evolved through natural selection, then it is hard to argue that human life has any intrinsic value or worth. Why should humans be treated as more valuable than other animals, or as having inherent rights, if we are the result of a purposeless evolutionary process? Theistic Response Theism affirms that humans have intrinsic dignity because they are made in the image of God, Genesis 1.27. This image gives every person inherent worth and establishes the foundation for human rights, as humans are created with a purpose and value given by their Creator. 8. The Hope, Death, Issue Atheism cannot provide any real hope or certainty beyond death. If there is no God and no afterlife, then death is simply the end of consciousness and existence. This lack of hope can lead to existential despair for those who seek a greater meaning or purpose beyond this life. Theistic Response Christianity provides the hope of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. John 11, verse 25. Theism offers the promise of life after death and the hope of eternal fellowship with God. These are some of the most significant areas where atheism struggles to provide coherent, satisfying answers. From a Reformed perspective, these issues underscore the necessity of a theistic worldview, specifically one grounded in the truth of Scripture, to make sense of the deeper questions of life, morality, and existence.